Welcome. Today I will talk about the sidereal zodiac. And I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm going to show you the sidereal zodiac. And this is my two cents on the subject. First of all, any discussion of zodiacs, tropical or sidereal, should begin with the ecliptic and trying to understand what is the ecliptic. So the ecliptic is the narrow band of space upon which the planets rotate around the sun. As you can see, they're more or less along the same declination, I think they call it, as the planets turn. And the ecliptic is this space here, upon which, and they're not all exactly on the same plane, but they're more or less near the plane, the ecliptic plane. And so the ecliptic is this plane, and specifically, the stars and constellations that are behind that plane. Because there are stars and constellations all throughout north and south of the galaxy, but the ones that are of interest to us are the ones that are along the path of the ecliptic, along this background. And both zodiacs are using the ecliptic. What they do is either the tropical or the sidereal systems do something very similar. They find a point along the ecliptic and then from there they go 12 equal distances around the ecliptic. The difference is the starting point. The sidereal uh, system uses a star outside of our solar system and its alignment with the Earth and the sun to begin counting its one and then all the way around. In particular, the fixed star Spica, the star Spica, as it aligns with the earth and the sun. And that's how they generate their starting point. Now the tropical zodiac generates its starting point just through the relationship of the earth and the sun and nothing else. There's no other star in question. But when the earth and the sun come to a certain relationship, especially with the alignment of the equator and the sun, at that, which happens on April, around April 20th, 21st, at that point, we begin counting one and then go all the way around the ecliptic. And there's a lot of falsehoods that are surrounding this whole debate. The two biggest are that the tropical zodiac is based on the seasons, and it's just not true tropical zodiac is based between the alignment of the earth and the sun and specifically the equator. Now the other sidereal zodiac in this case is that the sidereal zodiac is based on the constellations. This is also not true. It is based on one star found outside of our solar system, the star Spica, and its relationship with the earth and the sun. The constellations are unequal length. The sidereal zodiac is equal length in signs. So they cannot be based on constellations. Although it is true that the sidereal zodiac is based upon a star outside of our solar system, the, the alignment of uh, Spica with Earth and the Sun. And this happens on April 14th. Everybody knows the uh, beginning of the tropical system, March 21st. And then again, the summer equinox. I forgot what that one was, but then you have those two dates Easter and then uh, what is the other holiday? I forgot. I guess maybe because there's holidays associated with it. But the sidereal zodiac begins on April 14th. And let's go to April 14th and see what's happening on April 14th. Almost there. So on April 14th. So on April 14th, here it is. The alignment of the sun, the earth. And then you see that on this side you have Pisces. On the opposite side of the earth and the sun, you have Pisces, the constellation Pisces. And on the other side, you have the constellation Virgo. So there it is, Virgo. 
So I, I think it's probably be this star here, which is spica, and that's what's uh, generating the beginning of Aries counted from this side over here, on this side, uh, is Aries, the sun from the earth is in, begin, you begin counting Aries because it's not reading the constellation Aries. You just count Aries. And I'll sh show you this in another diagram. But the important here thing is that I want to show you that it's this alignment here between the star, Earth, and Sun on the other side. That gives you the first day of a sidereal Aries. Likewise, on October 17th, the Sun, the Earth will be on this side of the Sun exactly opposite from its base where it is now it'll go all the way around um, October 17th it'll align on the opposite side and that will be the Sun from the earth being in uh, Libra the first day of Libra so here's another, another chart I want to show you as you can see the constellations on the, the outside ring are the constellations as they have been defined I don't know who defined them, why were they defined this way, but that's the way they are. You can see they're wildly unequal length. Wildly. And in some places, they overlap. It overlaps here and there with both the tropical and the sidereal. The sidereal overlaps a little bit more, quite a bit more, but it still doesn't overlap. You hear a lot of people say that the constellations... Sidereal follows the constellation. It does not. Any any person who looks at this chart can see clearly that the first degree of Aries, which we just looked at over here on this sign, this is the beginning of the first day of sidereal Aries. So this band here, the middle one, is sidereal. So let's find Aries, sidereal Aries. You'll see that the first day, April 14th, of sidereal Aries, the sun is in the constellation of Pisces. And you can replicate this over and over again. Similarly, six months later, the first degree of Libra, sidereal Libra, falls in the constellation of Virgo, just as I showed you over here. When the sun lines up exactly this way, constellation, there it is. This is the first, and that would be your first day of Sidereal Libra, which falls in the constellation of Virgo, as you can see here. First degree of Libra is in Virgo, the constellation of Virgo, and so on. I mean, I don't want to go through the whole way around, but, and this is not to say that the Sidereal Zodiac is wrong. And certainly, I'm not saying that about the tropical either. It's, um, I'm one of those people who you don't hear a whole lot about who uses both systems. I use, I'm a switch hitter. I use both tropical and sidereal. It's understanding how to use them that's important. Because in truth, any point along this line can be counted to zero. Because you see that I see that happening all the time. Alternate lognets. And guess what? They work. Any lognet can work. Another thing I want to point out whether you use the tropical or sidereal system the same date if you input this exact same date on a calculator that's using tropical or sidereal the lines are going to change but the stars do not change and the ascendant and descendant does not change they stay exactly the same once again if you input the same exact date in time into a calculator using the tropical or sidereal system, these lines here will change the point at which you're counting along the ecliptic 1 through 12, but the stars remain exactly the same. The stars do not change one bit. And neither does the ascendant or the descendant. If you have a planet that's near the ascendant or descendant, in one system, tropical, it's going to be exactly the same position relative to the ascendant and the other system. The way you count your signs 
may change, but the, the stars remain exactly the same. And if the signs change, then the degrees will change too, the degree at which the planet is in, but not the relative distance of that planet to the ascendant or descendant, or to other planets even. The relationships, the proportions are exactly the same, even though the signs and degrees may change. But also, a lot of the times, it's estimated that about 25% of the times, the signs are exactly the same in uh, the tropical versus and the sidereal systems. You'll find people in events. Donald Trump is a perfect example. Sidereal, tropical, the signs are exactly the same. The degrees are exactly the same. So it doesn't always change. It doesn't always change. Okay, so a question that I have asked myself is, if the constellations are so uh, real and relevant, why doesn't anyone use true sidereal signs, the true length of the constellations, and do astrology that way? Well, we are in luck, because finally I have found someone who is using true sidereal astrology, the constellations as they are, not equal length uh, approximate to the constellations, the constellations, and he is calling it true sidereal astrology Athen Chimenti I think is, that's his name hope I'm pronouncing it right Athen Chimenti is the first astrologer that I'm aware of who is actually using the constellations to generate his signs and he claims that he gets good results so this is his website Mastering the Zodiac with Athen Chimenti sidereal astrologer true sidereal astrologer and this is his chart calculator right here so i'm going to calculate a horoscope using the constellations as signs not symbolic tropical symbolic uh, sidereal they're, they're both symbolic let's go so i already inputted the information we're going to generate the chart and here it is ladies and gentlemen very proud of, uh, I'm very proud of Athen Chimenti because this is a breakthrough in my opinion. If you examine this chart here and compare it to the same time generated tropically and, and traditional sidereal, it's going to have different placements as far as uh, signs are concerned. Now I don't know if this is any better or not, but I haven't looked to analyze the charts using true sidereal, using constellations as signs. This is an area for research, for exploration, 